This, bathing your taste buds in bacon. Let's eat. Let's open with an app from Ken Eats. It's pig candy. You'll need thick cut bacon so it'll stay firm. Preheat oven to 400 and spread the rashers on a rack. When it's about 15 minutes from being done, block grease and pack with brown sugar. You're about to eat something called pig candy. This is not the time to be stingy with the brown sugar. Cook it for that last 15 and breathe in that sweet pig perfume. It's bacon and brown sugar. Does it need more explanation than that? Next, the barbecue pit boys make grilled onion and bacon cheese buds. They're working a grill, but you can stove it. Cut your onions in one direction, being careful to not cut through, then cross cut them, put on some cayenne pepper and sweet paprika, pile a strip of bacon on top while it's cooking for an hour at 350. Make a dipping sauce with sour cream, ketchup, cayenne, garlic flakes, and horseradish. Once the bacon is cooked, grate on some cheese, give it a few minutes more. Careful, the smell will draw buzzards. Our final bacon recipe from Yo-Yo Max 12 will thrill the little ones, turtle burgers. Season a pound of ground beef with garlic powder, dried onion, salt and pepper, and divide into patties. We bacon around it, cut hot dogs, a few quick snips will define the toes and tail, then cut a little slit at the top, insert pieces, and put on rack. Cover with foil and cook at 350 for about an hour or till it's 160 degrees. Add a little mustard for eyes. It's big, so you'll definitely divvy it up, but with hot dogs, burgers, and bacon all in one, folks will race to a table with a turtle on it. Find all our recipes and more on our website. It's Bacon o'clock somewhere, so let's eat.